And as Cantor Freedom was raised in Turkey, he moved to the U.S. as a teenager, then became an NBA player. Then he began openly criticizing the Chinese government. He wore shoes that said free Tibet, which China occupies, and he wore them on the court. So normally the NBA encourages political messages. They even wrote BLM on the court. But criticizing China is absolutely unacceptable to the sleazeballs who run the NBA. This show has obtained exclusive recordings proving what's going on. Here's Ron Klempner, who's the general counsel of the National Basketball Players Association. Listen. I got up the phone with the general counsel of the NBA, and he wants to now have a conversation about the his their concern right now is not so much what you are saying off the court, but what it is that you're saying on the court when you step onto the court. And what he was saying, of course, was critical of China. Mark Lazary, a close friend of Bill Clinton's, now co-owns the Milwaukee Bucks. Lazary explained in another recording that China will not do business with the NBA if athletes criticize China in any way. And the NBA makes billions of dollars in China. So Mark Lazary obeys. Listen. China has taken a very aggressive stance. Mm -hmm. We could, hey, you want to about us? You're out. Right? Which is, I, I get it. There's nothing. It's business. So their view is, look, you want to be in our country, you want to do things. If you're going to complain about us, you're not allowed. So what happens for the NBA is the NBA is in a box. It's business. It's business. Yeah, I'll sell out our country to our main global enemy that seeks to displace us and control us. It's just business beneath contempt. Then there's Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner. He acknowledged that, quote, the free Tibet shoes don't break rules, but they upset China. And once again, that's bad for business. You're not breaking any rule in terms of the shoes. There's no rule I'm aware of that you're violating now. But I, to me, it, you know, I think it's also, look, at the end of the day, we're also a business. It's just business. So what wouldn't they do? Sell drugs to children? I mean, like what? Human trafficking? It's just business. No problem. Ennis Freedom has a problem with all of this. He joins us tonight. Ennis, it's great to see you. And I appreciate your coming back. So they just say it out loud, like whatever makes them rich, including selling out to the Chinese government, pretending China's not occupying Tibet. No problem. First of all, thank you for having me, Mr. Carlson. I mean, Cropped NBA is finally got exposed. And this is the evidence of how 100% how American-made com company is run by the Chinese dictatorship. And wake up, America. This is the league that you have been supporting and watching, and enough is enough, and this is unacceptable. They are mad because finally someone from the inside that I played 11 years in this league have finally exposed them, and I'm saying it again, enough is enough. Stop bowing down to dictatorships. That's right. It, and it's, it's the only American sport. It's invented at a YMCA in Springfield, Massachusetts. What about, what about all the woke sports writers who are constantly on the lookout for someone <laughs> saying the wrong thing? Has any, have any of them taken your side in this? Uh, well, I will just say this. You know, when I started to talk about these uh, problems for the first time, one of the actually uh, players reached out to me and said, listen, there's no one going to be behind you, especially the media, because they are run by the NBA. So do not have any, any hope by the sports and media. What? You know, I didn't. You know what? This was the right thing to do, and I went out there and exposed it all. So I'm, I'm glad I did it. Trust me. Yeah, where, where's Bill Simmons? He's a deeply good person. So we just got this statement from the NBA about exactly. one of the recordings, and, I, and I, I want to read it to you. Quote, Adam Silver made it clear that we support players, including Mr. Freedom, expressing their views on matters that are important to them, end quote. How do you respond to that disingenuous statement? <laughs> well, well, the recording said uh, something different. You know, I'm just, it just sad to see how these people still can lie to American people. How can they bow down to these dictatorships? They will care about social justice until it affects their money and business, business. You know, NBA pretends to care about social justice in America, but when that affects their business, they're silent. And if any, any player that goes out there says anything about it, they're going to do everything they can to silence you. Look, listen, I'm 30 years old, and they're pushing me to retire of age of 30, and I am not retiring. I'm going to fight till the, the, that I get come get back to that league again and keep exposing them. And um, that's why I just can't take this anymore.
We're rooting for you. And it's freedom. Great to see you tonight. Thank you.